Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with Just Another Fan TV. Back at you another video of the content in this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. At the content of the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Listen, I promise I was not going to drop a video tonight. It's late. I was going to say, hey, Ravens, you got it. I'll do the full recap in the morning. I'm still going to give y'all the recap of the game in the morning. But we got to talk about this second half that the offense just put on right there. The Ravens scored three points at halftime. Second half scored 24 points. This is the best offensive display that I've seen from this Ravens offense since the Miami game. And I, I got, I, hey, listen, we clown them when things go wrong. I got to give them the credit or whoever the hell was calling the plays, whether it was Roman or not. But I got to say it's him until I know otherwise. Greg Roman just called a hell of a game in the second half. That might have been the best half of football the Ravens have called, honestly. And let, let's get into a few reasons why. Dude ran on the jet sweeps. Before, that's all Dude used to do was jet sweeps. Now we get this year when he's actually an offensive weapon. Now we don't want to do him no more. Now, we second half, we start seeing him. Every time Devin Dude touches the ball, is a positive play for the Ravens. I'm glad he realized that. Devin Dune gets a couple of jet sweeps. One, he takes for a touchdown. I believe it was like on the third and one. Beautiful. Greg Roman called a fake speed option pass. I forgot who was in the backfield, but Lamar fakes out, fakes like they ran the speed option, then drops back and hits likely on the corner route for about uh, 15 yards. What, what team am I watching? What team is this? I got more here. Run game mix up. Now, what do I mean by that? They're running out of sets that they usually pass out of. Three wide receivers, uh, one tight end. They ran out of it multiple times. Under center, they ran out of it multiple times with Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, unfortunately, like he got hurt. Hopefully, it's not nothing too serious with Gus. All right. Um, they were mixing it up. This was the first time I've watched the Ravens' offense, and I really couldn't tell whether it was going to be a pass or a run play. I had no idea what was coming. This is really one of the first times. I'm so serious. Okay. Um, I got, like I said, I got it right here. Under center plays. Uh, running and passing out of 11 personnel. Isaiah Likely getting involved. Preseason Isaiah Likely showed up. Preseason Isaiah Likely showed up, and we saw him today, and it was beautiful. Toe tap grab back in the end zone. No line. Listen, I'm going to put it out here. I don't care. It might be crazy. There's not a linebacker in the NFL that can guard Isaiah Likely. Hey, say I'm jumping overboard. That's fine. Given his athletic talents, his shiftiness, his, able, his ability to run routes. There should not be a single linebacker in the NFL that could cover him one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think there is. I'm just putting it out there. If Devin White can't do it, one of the fastest guys, if Vontae David can't do it, one of the best coverage linebackers in the league, tell me who, who, who's next on the list to do it. Okay. Multiple RPOs. The Ravens are one of the best running teams in the NFL constantly, but they don't take advantage of it. How can you take advantage of being a great run team? Running an RPO, faking that, faking that inside zone and throwing it right behind the linebackers. They did it multiple times in the second half, and who did they throw it to? Devin DuVernay, playmaker. I don't know who was calling this plays in the second half. I don't know. I Keep calling the plays. If it's Roman... Whatever bag you was in, I need you in that for the rest of the season. If it was somebody else, you'd do offensive coordinator. I don't know who it was. But I'm going to give credit to the great Roman because I don't know nothing until it, something has been out there that has changed, right? But this team that, that was piss poor in the first half was not the same team I saw in the second half. Let's keep going. He used three wide receiver sets. We talked about that. Let's talk about the play action rollout to Drake, right? Not even that it was some super complex play, but it was the it was a simple, nice, effective play. They fake it to Drake. He leaks out. Boom! Hit Lamar hits a beautiful touchdown. The Ravens made the Bucks be on their heels. They, they made the Bucks defense look like a team that didn't have all of their guys out there, and that's what they needed to do. And they finally, finally did it. This Ravens offense put on a show in the second half. Literally, this was an offensive show. All right. I believe it's something like that. They ran for over 200 yards in the second half. Lamar probably passed for another 100 and something in the second half. That is balance. 
That is what Ravens fans have been asking for. We're not asking for, we're not asking to be the Buccaneers where we got to throw the ball 45 times a game because we have no running game. That's not what we're asking for. We're asking for balance. And we were provided with balance in that second half. Now, we got to get to the elephant in the room real quick. I ain't going to make this video too long because, like I said, I want to do the recap in the morning. Okay. This offensive display happened without Mark Andrews and Rashad Bateman on the field. Now, what does that mean? A couple things. One, this is for Lamar Jackson. Maybe he didn't have tunnel vision on his top two guys. And we were actually able to spread the ball around. I saw Demarcus Robinson getting loose on screen passes. Demarcus Robinson had a great first half. James Poshay caught some passes in the first half. We were actually able to play offense instead of playing Mark Andrews ball, Rashad Bateman ball. We were actually able to get the ball to other guys. All right? Um, for Roman, whoever was calling the plays, maybe that means, like, we can get different guys in different spots. Now, in them crossing routes that Andrews usually runs, likely was running those. I saw I saw Pro Shea running multiple crossers uh, and drags in the middle of the field. Now, unfortunately for him, he was covered up by a linebacker or or, the, or a safety right behind him, so he couldn't get the ball in those kind of plays. But they looked like a team. They looked like an actual offense who was capable of spreading the ball around and not hyper focused on one or two guys. Um. And last but not least, uh, like I said, this, this video is really about Greg Roman and the offensive play calling and things like that. But Lamar Jackson, that's the MVP, bro. That's the MVP. Running, passing, doing whatever you want to do. And being a leader, he got on Ricard's ass for that uh, holding call. He was on him. Running, passing, leadership. Leadership. Um, so listen, I'm not going to drag this out too much longer. I don't know who that was playing in the second half in those white uniforms. They claim it was the Baltimore Ravens. I don't know. I don't know. They they claim it was the Ravens. But the Ravens pull out the victory 27-22. Uh, I'm going to drop, like I said, I'm going to drop a recap tomorrow, you know, really going over what happened in the game. But uh, I had to talk about this offense in the second half. It was beautiful. I need to see that for the rest of the season. If we if we get this offense for the rest of the season, the Ravens it could be dangerous. Greg Roman might have literally saved his job with this second half. Might have saved his job with this second half. I'm going to leave it at that, man. Give me your thoughts about this offense. What did you like? What did you dislike? Um, I don't know how you can really dislike anything. Honestly, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful in the second half. Um, but, yeah, that's my thoughts, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is Fan TV. I'm out.